mean, more difficult right now until we maybe figure some other things out. But as of now, uh, it's going to be a handful, especially around other cars. Uh, trying to get the car better, but like last year, say we'd be loose in, tight center, off maybe. That's what we battle most time. Now we're the opposite. We're, we're uh, tight in, loose, loose center off. And boy, if you miss the bottom, uh, you can really screw up and you're, you you got a lot of wheel in it and you're trying to catch it, keep it under you and it's, it's a handful. So I don't know what we were trying to achieve really, but you know, this is what we got. So hopefully we'll make the best of it and find what our Chevrolet is like, but it's gonna be a challenge to say the least. And uh, there at the end, we did a 20 lap run and the 18 came out behind me, he had stickers on. I had 19 lap tires on at that point. And uh, he let me get a good gap and then he caught me. He couldn't pass me. And he finally got under me and I just let him go. But man, it seemed like it was very difficult for him to pass me even though he had, you know, 19 fresh, uh, 19 lap fresher tires on. So uh, I think it's gonna be a handful when we all bear off in the turn one together uh, in all that dirty air. So. It'll be interesting. Is it one of those things where my understanding to a certain degree is NASCAR is trying to be proactive and the teams over the last couple of years, because this package has been pretty steady, is that they had gained a lot. And so they're eventually going to gain it back over the next year or two, too. But the catch 22 of that is that you guys are having to get new parts, new truck arms. And so it's like maybe in time it will help you guys get closer to the front, but you're also spending more, too. Is that a oh, fair yeah. kind of explanation of it all? Yeah, we've spent a lot more money this off season buying new rear ends, truck arms, mounts for the uh, track bar, just all that stuff in the rear that, I mean, we already had. So now we had to spend all this money to, to buy all these new parts because of the new rule change. But that's that's part of this deal. But uh, we did learn that we, uh, we actually lost an hour because the uh, left side truck arm mount broke and we had to fix it. And we, we realized it might need to be heat treated and it needs more bracing on it. So, I guess it's good, well it is good, that we broke that, learned that in a test versus, you know, in a race, uh, trying to tighten the car up, you run it down, and then it breaks in a race, crash the car. So, now we gotta go back to the shop, get all our truck arms brand new, take them back to, to whoever, build them, and say, uh, here's the problem, let's make it better. So, we've learned a lot, we threw a lot at this car, and hopefully we just figure out which direction to go in when we actually come back to race. Last one for you. It's not too dissimilar to the, the package I guess there was uh, 2015, 2016, I forget the exact year, but is there a notebook on this that does kind of carry over or is this completely brand new? No, I think it's completely brand new to me. I mean, it's just things change so much. I, I don't even, I don't even know where our notebook is from then. <laughs> so, uh, it's just working, getting on the simulator, gonna try to get well, all this information today in there and and start over and try to run run it all and get the package we like the best and make it better. But uh, it's gonna be a challenge for sure and the drivers are all gonna have their hands full. <laughs>